and welcome to today's topic on stress management. My name is Leanne Ewan. I'm a certified athletic trainer and a certified ergonomic assessment specialist with Briotics Health. So we're going to go over types of stress, acknowledging and coping with stress, uh, a deep breathing technique, as well as some benefit resources for King County Metro employees. The two main types of stress are positive and negative. Positive stress uh, is experienced by an individual that feels very focused, motivated, and confident about the result they hope to achieve, which can help them improve their performance. This includes receiving a promotion, marriage, having a child. Or on the other hand, negative stress is felt when an individual feels they are not adequately fit to deal with or perform under certain circumstances. This tends to negatively affect one's ability to perform. And this includes the death of a loved one, injury or illness, and financial issues. Any of these stressors could be listed under positive or negative stress. It really depends on how somebody interprets the stressor and their reaction to it. The body's response to stress can have uh, structural changes in the brain. The way you respond to stress and your memory and cognition are uh, linked together. Uh, decreased immune function. Um, when people are under a lot of stress for a long time, they tend to have a higher likelihood of getting illnesses. Um, cardiovascular disease. Uh, this causes a increase in your heart rate, an increase in your blood pressure, and these can lead to a myocardial infraction or a heart attack. Um, changes in your appetite and changes in the GI system. There are a couple of uh, coping mechanisms. Um, positive coping mechanisms are going to be things that are going to help you relieve stress and have positive outcomes in your life. This includes physical activity, humor, relaxation, or support groups. And negative uh, coping mechanisms include substance abuse, compulsive spending, and overeating. So I'm going to go over a few different stress management uh, strategies. Um, while these particular examples are related to the pandemic, the strategies themselves are going to be useful in any situation. You may just have to switch up the techniques of how you achieve these particular goals. So the first major one is trying to stay social while maintaining social distance. This is difficult right now as everybody feels like they're you know, stuck in their houses and they aren't necessarily getting the social contact that they need. Um, and some basic strategies to help alleviate that, that stress is to help others. This gives you a sense of action when things seem out of control. To lower your expectations. We're in a new environment and we're all doing the best we can in an impossible situation. So expecting yourself to perform at a normal level is maybe unrealistic. Reach out to others. Um, try video chat, phone calls and texting. And don't forget about your children. Um, a lot of them are having a hard time right now too uh, with, with schools being closed and not having that same social interaction that they normally would. Get fresh air every day. Um, if you're unable to get out, open the windows and enjoy the fresh air. It's going to be more difficult in the coming winter months, um, but trying to find time to get outdoors has been proven to reduce stress. Uh, and also finding some space. Um, find an area that you can relax and separate from work, as well as helping children identify space that they feel safe and comfortable in. The second major uh, strategy for decreasing stress is to increase your physical activity levels uh, and take care of your, your body. Uh, so the first one is to stay hydrated and eat well. Um, drink plenty of water, eat healthy foods, Take the time to learn to cook something new. Um, if you're interested more in nutrition and learning how to read a nutrition label, there are a couple of videos in the same series that covers those topics. Uh, vary your movement. Try doing new activities and uh, something to keep you interested in and out of the monotony of doing the same type of activity every single day. 
find home projects, um, you know, new home improvement projects or new hobbies. Um, I think we've all been doing puzzles on puzzles on puzzles, um, but that can be a really good way to relieve some stress. Um, or try a creative uh, outlet like music, dance, art. Um, these will give it your, your brain a chance to focus on something different than the stress of everyday life right now. The third main strategy is to try and stay positive. Um, this includes limiting the bad, uh, trying not to get too caught up in social media or the news or something that you know is very stressful for you. Um, and also along with that, noticing the good. So reading things that give you hope and um, a different point of view than the negative news that you sometimes see every day. Find humor. Try and watch something that'll make you laugh and lighten the mood, uh, like a stand-up comedy or a funny show that you like. Um, continuing to dress for the day, uh, even though sometimes it can be exhausting to, to get you know dressed for work if you're going to be sitting at home. Um, taking the time to to get dressed and continue to keep that routine is important. And remember that at the end of the day, this is temporary. Although it does feel like it's been forever now, we will eventually go back to the new normal. The next major strategy is to control what you can control. Um, and this, you know, can include keeping your home clean and tidy the way that you like it, um, organizing your, your space, uh, sticking to a routine, um, especially with sleep schedules as sometimes uh, if you don't feel like you have appointments or anything to keep, you you sometimes uh, adjust your sleep schedule and, and that can be pretty detrimental to your health in the long run. You want to make sure that you're getting good quality sleep. Chunk your quarantine. Um, so focus on bite-sized uh, amounts of time instead of trying to plan what you're going to do for a whole week and go through your schedule bit by bit instead of trying to do it all at once. And then the final one is to reach out for help. If you're having trouble, um, you know, counseling therapists or psychiatrists are available. Uh, a lot of them are doing virtual consults or virtual appointments um, and to make sure that you're taking care of yourself. I do wanna talk about one technique uh, to, to help relieve stress in the, the short term. Um, my favorite uh, stress relieving technique is called uh, four, seven, eight uh, breathing. Um, deep breathing is an effective means of reducing stress, tension, and anxiety, and it helps you disengage from thoughts and sensations. So four, seven, eight breathing is a uh, traditional deep breathing method. You'll notice in this picture here, this woman has uh, a hand on her stomach or her belly and a hand on her chest. Um, the reason for that is that we want to focus on having deep what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So breathing using your diaphragm instead of using your shoulder muscles. Um, and so that's why we're keeping that hand on the chest to make sure that we're breathing in through our chest and opening up our lungs instead of using our shoulders. Um, and the, the biggest reason is that people carry a lot of tension and stress in their shoulders. And if you're using those muscles to breathe, you're having a difficult time to relax them between each breath. Um, and you might kind of feel the accumulation of tension uh, that builds up over time. So the first step with 478 breathing is to find a quiet and calm place. Um, this particular woman is doing deep breathing in a sitting position. You can do it lying down, you can do it standing. Um, I do find that it's easiest to practice if you're lying on your back. The second step is to take a slow deep inhale into your nose. Um, you want to put the tongue on the roof of the mouth. This kind of closes uh, the airway from the mouth into the, the lungs because we want it to be a deep diaphragmatic breath. Um, it's going to come into your nose. So putting that tongue on the roof of the mouth will help reinforce that. And you're going to inhale for a four second count. After you inhale for four seconds, you're going to hold that breath for seven seconds. Then you're going to slowly and controlled exhale through your mouth for eight seconds. Exhale, really focus on relaxing the tension in your body. 
feeling the muscle tension relax, especially in your shoulders and your back. Usually we do this in a uh, five cycle session. So you're going to repeat those breaths four more times and slowly kind of come back to, you know, the present. So if you want to listen in on how my deep breathing goes, I'm going to breathe in for four seconds. I'm going to hold for seven and then I'm going to slow and controlled exhale for eight. And that's really the most important part is pushing that breath out as a you know forceful contraction instead of kind of just letting the air escape. So it's in, hold, So it should be a very concentrated exhale on each one. And as Metro employees, you guys have some amazing benefits available to you. Um, there are some mindfulness classes available. If you're interested, you can email um, Dallas to you. You can call them and there is some information on their website that's uh, posted down below there. And there's also the EAP or the MLE programs. Uh, the EAP or the employee assistance programs is related to workplace stress, um, coaching and consulting, conflict with coworkers or supervisors. Um, so it's more related to the employees issues at work. And the contact info is right below there. Um, the making life easier program is for things that aren't necessarily related to work. Uh, so if you're having family or, or personal issues, um, there's personal counseling, there's legal and financial services, there's child care services, as well as adult and elder care services. So the contact info is listed there as well. If you have any questions or you want more information, we're going to have a webinar on December 17th uh, regarding you know, stress and wellness and mindfulness. If you want more information, you can contact us at kcmetro at periodics.com.